Sin, find all who oppose and do damage. Zod said. So, you want to take my place? You want to be Zod? You've got to kill Zod in order to be him. I will, said Quaid. The people watched as the two gods battled for Bijalia. Enough talking, for now, said Quaid as he hovered in place ready to meet Zod. Zod determined to keep his stronghold started to charge Quaid. The force in which they met sent a shockwave throughout the area. Feeling himself full of rage, Zod felt ultimate power as he opened his eyes and knew, firing a laser beam right at Quaid. Zod missed but Quaid was shaken by what he had seen. How powerful was Zod now? He knew it would take everything in his power in order to defeat him. The city suffered as the two titans clashed, going back and forth, landing devastating blow after devastating blow. The buildings around them crumbled. The two engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. A punch thrown by Quaid just nearly missed as Zod chopped Quaid in the throat with such force it would snap a mere mortal in two. He followed that up with a kick to the face that sent Quaid stumbling back and onto the ground. Was this it? came back to save his people from their ways, but has Zod's power grown so much that he can't defeat him? Quaid flies to the top of the building and looks down at Zod, feeling his power more than ever. As he starts to climb up the building in order to meet Quaid to land the death blow, he punches Quaid once, twice, three times, and Quaid flies back. He picks up a beam from the building and is about to hit Quaid in the face with it when this rage takes over his body. He closes his eyes and when he opens him the same laser Zod possessed, he now has two. They fly around Bijolia, fighting and battling for the ultimate victory. They land in the building and Quaid quickly puts Zod in a chokehold. Do you give up? Do you surrender? Never will I surrender. You're going to have to kill me. As long as I have breath, I will not rest until you and anyone you love is dead. I will destroy all of Bejolia to make this so. I will never stop. Quay took his neck and snapped it. Zod fell to the ground, the light from his eyes fading as he had no more life to give or to take. Now the people would be free from Zod at last. Sin was put in their work. The militancy arrived and tried their best to stop her, but they were no match for their zile powers. Quaid appeared and knocked her into a restaurant. Sin, Zod, is dead. The man you follow is no more. Surrender. There is still a place for you in my kingdom. I don't want any love but that of Zod. If Zod is truly God, then you'll have to kill me too. I am giving you one last chance to surrender. Do what you gotta do. Quaid lunged at her and began to punch her with all of his might. He hit her in the jaw, the neck, the stomach. Sin flew outside. She was shaking. Quaid did not let up. He held her down on the ground and punched her until she stopped moving. He then used the lasers as eyes to shoot her in her heart. Zod doesn't know your heart. Quaid does. Quaid said. The life faded from sin. There she lay, a follower of Zod, used up and deceased. This is what happens if you're a woman who's a faithful follower of Zod. You just end up getting fucked in the end. Kaya approached Quaid. I, I can't believe it's really you, said Kaya. I am not here for long. I came to restore things to the way that it should be. I hear you finally got rid of the soul teens today. Every last one. Now, there is only one thing left. What is it? The young heads are revolting against the old heads. Well, what are you going to do? Who are you going to defend? No one. I'm going to let them decide who should lead. Let's go. Quaid and Kaya West left to witness the brawl for it all. The young heads versus the old heads in the battle for the future of Bijolia. 
The militancy as well as the Quaidites stay behind to begin to pick up the shattered pieces of their cities. This final combat will determine it all.